Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'll be checking Persona 5 Royale on Xbox Series S. Yes, finally, a very highly requested JRPG is finally on Xbox. I think it's available on the regular Xbox as well. I mean Xbox One and Xbox One X. Um, by the way, I would like to thank um, Atlas for providing me with a game code, so really appreciate that. Uh, so I was actually able to check this game before a uh, release. And by the way, this title is also available on Game Pass. So you can give it a try via uh, this subscription service on both Xbox and PC. I will have another video uh, on my other channel uh, checking this game on PC. So without any further ado, let's uh, give this game a try. Uh, there's no performance modes, nothing like that. I mean, the game pretty much runs at 4K 60 frames per second. Uh, so as you can see, there's some uh, camera options, audio options and that kind of stuff. Um, but there's no, not that I noticed, there's no um, like performance graphics modes because this game don't need that, right? And you will see that, see that in a minute. Um, okay, so uh, let's load the game. I played this game maybe for like 20 uh, minutes uh, yesterday just to give it a try uh, and uh, yeah so let's load the game load speeds are super fast as you can see um, by the way like cutscenes I will skip that cutscene in a minute um, but uh, I just want to show you uh, what the game is uh, like uh, all the cutscenes are pretty much like anime anime and I like it. it you know the, it looks good and it's of a high quality and stuff so um, that's kind of cool so yeah I mean let's just cut the cuts let's just keep the cutscene uh, because that's not what you are here for um, and yeah this is the actual game so it has this cell shading kind of graphics which looks very very good uh, I actually really like it and um you know there's a lot of like uh, corridor kind of walking in this game and stuff but there's a, a little bit of an open world later on in the game i will show you in a minute uh, i will show you a little bit of combat as well the game is 60 frames per second um as you can see so you can actually examine all kinds of things in the game uh, yeah, yeah, i can examine this as well can I get back into the train? Right train, nice I can, but I think I need to go somewhere else, so let's not do that. Uh, now I can exit this way or that way, I, I tried both, same result, like this will take you to pretty much the same street, right, so... And um, this part of the game reminds me a little bit of Yakuza games, um, and I will tell you why in a minute? I mean, hey, it's 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 happening all in Japan. That's one thing, but also, um, you know, you get these like narrow streets which you can, um, which you can go to and explore a bit. But uh, this is not like a proper a proper open world. Like most streets are blocked, so you can't just go anywhere you want, right? Uh, like hey I can't go I can't go any any further than this for example or if I go um, somewhere here let's check this place out same thing examine I don't think the address I'm looking for is up ahead so it creates this um, it creates this um, I guess feeling that it may it looks like an open world game, but it's not right, but that's that's not really um, Like an issue, right? I'm just uh, saying that like Yakuza games were similar, but I guess you had uh, Well more Stuff to explore. Maybe this game opens up a little bit later. I don't know right like I said like I am very very early in the game and this is not really a review per se, I'm just here to show you a little bit of a gameplay and show you how this game actually run, uh, runs. And by the way, this is stable 60 frames per second. Uh, graphics seems to be 4K. 
there's hardly any shimmering, nothing like that. Or nothing like that. There's the game is very, very sharp in my opinion. Um, looks really good, so I like it. Um, yeah, let's actually talk with that police officer. Let's ask for directions. You want to get to the residence at that address. It's an alley a bit further back. Take a right after that apartment with the stairs. Well, thank you, Mr. Officer. Sick man. What is wrong with him? What I'll do? I'm feeling under the weather, but I've got an important meeting tomorrow. I thought I would keep this place I should, but the, they said they were close for the day. And it's still so early too. I can't believe it. Maybe I should go and ask again. Yeah, you go do that, uh, whatever. Yeah, uh, by the way, on um, in the top right corner, you've got like, um, I guess, instructions what to do. There's even like exclamation, exclamation, exclamation mark over there. Listen, what's going on? Was there another mm, accident? I see a policeman over there. He's just watching to make sure everyone's safe. It would be scary if something like that happened again, though. Let's hurry mo home. I'm not really sure what happened there. I guess I didn't pay much attention. By the way, we can enter. I can't go there. Well, I guess I have to go to that apartment first. Okay, anyway. Okay, let's just go there. Uh, I think it was over there. Hmm? Examine. Looks like that's the place. Music is kind of cool. Looks like no one's home. Oh, damn. Oh yeah, Sakura-san's usually at his cafe around this time. Well, the blonde's in the back alley, so I should make my other deliveries first. Hmm. Next, I need to take this package to. Okay. I guess I need to find that uh, coffee shop, which there's something there, so I think it's over there. Not really sure, but there's a coffee cup on the map, so I guess, yeah, that's the place, yeah. Actually, let's, let's explore a little bit. Can I go over there? Yeah, it's, yeah, I can't go there. Can I? Oh, I, actually, I can. Okay, so I guess, yeah, let's try it out. Yeah, I guess, like, unless you do stuff you have to do, it won't let you any further. That's the wrong way. This way, this way. Okay, let's go to that coffee shop. Okay, so this um, part of the game seems to be a bit slow, if you know what I mean. Oh, I, we can skip it. Yeah, I mean, because what I actually want to do... I want to get to the... some action. Okay, so what I'll do now, let's actually start the game again, because the beginning of the game shows a little bit of uh, combat as well. So let me start the game again and show you that. Um, 
press any button, new game. Yeah, English. Okay. Actually, I could have. I should have. This story is a yeah, it's work of fiction. Allowed. Yeah. Only though. I do agree. The contract. The world is. Those who. Are... You are the. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so this is literally the very beginning of the game, right? Uh, I just want to show you, like, different, uh, different stuff you you actually do in the game. So, uh, yeah. By the way, the game looks really, really good. I like it. Like, it has its like obviously unique style, but. Um, as I always say, games don't always have to be realistic. It's not it's not about that really. Okay, so now we will get into some fights finally. Yeah, I just want to show you uh, how the combat looks like in this game, of course. Um, ouch. Ooh, demons. That's a big boy. So yeah, now as you can see, the this is a uh, um, you can use different uh, like melee attack with A, Bam. or use a skill. Let's use this. Why not? Let's do it. So it's a turn-based um, RPG, of course. Oh, there's more of them. Let's run, run for your life. By the way, guy, game runs really, really good on Xbox. Uh, Xbox Series X, at least. Um, I may give this game a try on Xbox Series S later as well, just to maybe tomorrow we'll see how that goes and. Yeah, the very beginning of the game is more like a tutorial, really. They show you around, if you know what I mean. So now I have to hide. Let's sneak on him. Let's go. Music is cool as well. I'm Batman now, there we go. Use that skill. Oh, he's still alive. Nice. Don't stop me. All right, let's do it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, another cutscene. I mean, don't get me wrong, like, cutscenes are cool and they look great, but uh, yeah, so uh, I got caught uh, clearly. 
Um, so I guess I will stop here. But guys, um, this is Persona 5 uh, Royale on Xbox Series X. It's also available on Xbox Series S uh, and uh, Xbox One, I think, as well. Um, and it's on PC. It's on Game Pass now, right? So you can give it a try. Um, the game is getting fantastic reviews, generally speaking. I mean, at least it had on X on P PlayStation, so I would expect the same. Technically sp speaking, it's a very good port. Uh, runs great, looks great. There's I haven't really noticed any uh, performance uh, drops, nothing like that. No issues on Xbox Series X, at least. So that's a uh, very good news. It you, you we like to get that kind of and. Mm, uh, performance and graphics and uh, product from these developers so guys that's the video thanks a lot for tuning in thanks for support i really appreciate it make sure you hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already share the video on social media if you care and uh, yeah i'll see you in the next one take care